Hey folks, Gary here with Paramount, your source for guns, gear, training, and tactics. It's all brought to you by Real World Experience. So today, folks, we got some pretty amazing products. We also got a special guest in the studio. I'm going to introduce you to him real quick. But we're going to be going over the Fat Boy tripods. We have, there are three different models that they have. We're going to cover the heads, the different tripods that they offer, and this is their newest tripod. We're going to save this for last. Has some pretty innovative features. And Dustin, we were actually just out at the range, folks. I meant to shoot this whole video out at the range, and we had like 30 mile an hour winds, gusts of 40. Not the most conducive to shooting video, but it was fun. But, uh, and we did get some footage out there. But what I've been wanting to do, and you guys know, we have been carrying the Bog Death Grip. Uh, this is the Infinite. If you haven't checked out my video on that, make sure you go check that out over there. But this is a great uh, beginner tripod, if you will. Uh, has some great features, great value out of it. Um, but really what it comes down to is as you become more serious, basically what I wanted to do was have an introductory or you know beginner tripod that people are going to a value tripod. And then what I was looking for was something that we were gonna carry that was top of the line. And I spent a lot of time researching tripods, testing tripods, um, and I'm telling you folks, in my opinion, these are the best tripods that I've come across. Again, there's a lot of things to cover on this, so we'll get into it. Um, Dustin is a client of ours, a friend of ours, as well as he's been, how long have you been shooting PRS? About 10 years. So, you know, he's probably done more shooting off of tripods than I have. We were out at the range today shooting. Um, the stability on these are just unbelievable. The first thing that I want to cover is the ball head on this. Uh, this these things are extremely impressive and we're gonna loosen this up. There is a secondary retention back here, but these ball heads pop out just like that. So this ball head, folks, one of the things that I like about this the most is the fact that this is the only lever that we have here, this tension knob right here. And it is unbelievably strong, but what I like about the fact is that all you gotta do is barely move it to loosen it. You can move your gun around. We had, my gun was on the, on the tripod today. Uh, it's around 20-ish pounds. And soon as you just pull it back just a little bit, folks, it locks that thing into place. The other thing that I really like about this, the fact that you don't have to choose between an Arca or Picatinny. This is actually built to where it will hold Arca and or Picatinny all in one head. And everything about this thing is just extremely well-made, extremely robust. It, it's, it's actually pretty impressive. We do have a hook down here so that you can add additional ballast if you have a windy day like we had today we could have used a couple of bags out there today but what were some of the things that you really kind of stood out to you dustin yeah i mean the uh <clears throat> the amount of adjustability mm -hmm. with the knob with how little you actually have to twist it and the amount that it locks up even in a windy day like today and a pretty pretty aggressive angles too yeah. when we're shooting down the hill there <clears throat> uh but yeah it's very smooth i mean we got a lot of dirt and uh, dust blown up, and they work flawlessly. I mean, it, uh, dirt definitely got in here, but it's still smooth. Yeah. Can't feel any grit. Um, yeah, and it really locks up, and it's easy to adjust with one hand yep. while you're operating it. Everything about it, man, the fit and finish on these, um, the stability, again, even out in unbelievable winds was, was pretty amazing. The other big feature that I like about this is the fact that, again, with just a little bit of tension, now we can still pan left and right, and there's enough tension on there, it almost feels like a fluid head. So that is really nice about that too. Just everything about this is super user friendly, and, and when you're, you're running that gun, you're managing your data, whether you're hunting, you're doing any sort of competition or just recreational shooting, it is nice to be able to hit, use this one-handed and not have three different knobs down here. And that's the biggest problem that I've seen with some of the other tripods and the ball heads in the market is that they have multiple knobs for multiple adjustments. You have one knob, you can adjust everything while keeping one hand on the gun and one hand on this, and then you're good to go. But it's super, super stable, super durable. It locks into place when you want it to. It comes loose when you want it to. But the tripod and the ball heads are sold separately. So if you already have a tripod you already like, you can buy the ball head separately or vice versa. Links are down below in the description or just go to ParamountTactical.com. All right, folks, so I wanted to jump in here real quick because there was a couple of points that I felt like either we didn't illustrate properly or we didn't cover at all. And one of those is how easy this is to adjust for fit of your arc rail or pick rail, whatever you have going in here. So right here is your clamp lever all right we throw that to clamp down onto the gun or whatever it is that you have 
inside the ball head there. But on this other side, if it doesn't fit properly, if it's not clamping tight enough or it's too loose, all we need to do is rotate this. We just push on the le lever side. It exposes the nut on that side. And then we just make sure that that seat's completely flush and then we can test for fitment again. And then once you have it fit, if you're just taking on and off the same exact rifle, uh, it just makes things easy. Now I do wish that, especially with Arca rail, they would standardize the size of that rail. It's always close, but I've just found from Arca rail, from brand of Arca rail to another brand of Arca rail, uh, you always have to make some adjustments, so just be aware of that. Uh, the other thing that I wanna show you is our set screw that we have on our ball head and our bowl. This is the bowl, this is what goes down into the apex of the actual uh, tripod. And if you'll notice, right there, and of course on the other side, we can loosen this to expose it more, but right there we have the actual screw, and that is a set screw. And this is really nice because a lot of times, What'll happen, there's bowls out there. You'll get, you'll mount this up, and then as you go to rotate to the left, this will actually break free the threads. So right now, it's coming off of that bowl, right? So, all we're gonna do with that is, again, we're gonna use this set screw, and we're gonna tighten that down. And then on the bowl, it has its own. So we got a little bit of counter torque going on, and they're in two different spots. So now we can just go ahead and tighten that down. And that way you're not gonna have to worry about this coming loose if you're turning it or rotating the gun to the left or to the right. Um, I've had that happen so many times and it's just a small feature, but it's a really nice one that you don't see on a lot of tripods out there. So really nice feature. And I think that is definitely worth highlighting for sure. And of course, on the inside of that, we do have our ballast hook. And folks, this is a really nice one. It's heavy duty, it's super thick. This is aluminum. It's not plastic like a lot of the other ones out there. This is gonna hold whatever you put onto it and gonna make sure that if you, especially if it's windy or something like that, it's gonna give you a little bit more stability and it's not gonna bend on you or break on you or anything like that. So uh, again, another nice touch, another well-crafted feature that is incorporated into the ball head itself. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover the other models of the tripods. All right, folks, so this is the Traverse 3 section. Um, and as you can see, I this is about a 21, 22-inch pound rifle. I've intentionally mounted this gun forward, so we've probably got 70% of the weight to the rear. And I just wanted to do that to show you how strong this ball head actually is. Um, and it still trips me out a little bit. Uh, again, all I need to do is loosen it about that much, not even a quarter of a turn, and then I just rotate that back and now it's locked into place. So uh, super simple, super easy to use. Today when you were shooting it, I mean, one of the things you said was like, you know, it's hard to believe how stable this thing actually is. Yeah, how stable it is. I mean, you mentioned it earlier, but one knob, yep. one hand operation uh, really makes it easy to use in the pan feature. Yep. It can pan and still lock the rifle in place. Yep. And one of the features that I really liked about this tripod, and this was actually something that Dustin brought up. Dustin was actually at one of our uh, handgun courses, and I, I know him and a couple other guys were up there that did some long range, and I had just gotten this one in, actually. Um, so I brought this up there for them to check out and to just kind of get their first impressions on it. And one of the things that he mentioned that I even noticed at first was just how little you need to adjust the leg locks before they come loose and or tighten back up. I mean, it's again, it's about a quarter of a turn. Yeah, and Gary, that's the reason that's so important is when you're under pressure, a uh, time constraint, yeah. like in a competition or you're shooting on a target, whether hunting. it's hunting, yeah. you know, uh, but you, you've got a, a time stressor. Sure. You're not thinking everything through, like you're, you're rushing to get that shot off. And if you don't lock your legs up uh, as tight as they can get, yeah. you might get your first shot, but if you need a follow-up shot, you might not come back on target because the leg's not fully locked in. It collapses under recoil. Uh, so having that quick adjustment makes it that much easier and ensures that you're locked in. Yeah, and it's, it's just, you're less likely to make those mistakes. Because yep. after you said that, I brought that home and, and compared it to the bog, and you're right. Like, you have to turn that almost a full revolution. And a lot of times, again, under stress, you're not going to get that entire revolution back. So just being able to basically, with a flick of the wrist, loosen it, be able to move that, tighten it back, it makes it easy. So it's tightening fast, it's loosening fast, and again, the whole thing is just super easy to use. Um, so this is the three section, folks. And the three section definitely gives you probably the most versatility, there's no doubt about it. Um, it has the lowest minimum height. Um, it is, they're all about the same height within about an inch of each other. All of them go ridiculously high. But the three section, even talking to the guys at BOG, they said that this is the one that they sell the most. But 
we haven't talked about their brand new tripod that we're going to cover in just a second. Um, so it has a lot of new features. That may end up being the fastest selling, and you'll see why in just a second. But I do want to show you the Traverse 2 section tripod. All right, folks, so this is the Traverse 2 section and 3 section, both of them at their high. I'm six foot, so I don't know what this is, right at six foot, a little over six foot. Um, so, you know, even if you're Shaquille O'Neal, you can use one of these tripods to hunt. But, you know, in all reality, too, if you are shooting, uh, which we actually did today, when we're shooting off of a slope, off of an embankment, something like that, where you may need that extra length, it is available to you. Now what I'm gonna do, we're gonna break these down. I'll show you the minimum height on both of these and we kind of go from there. All right, so folks, now you can see the minimum height of the three leg. So for you know travel, uh, for a shooting position where you just need to be a little bit lower. Now, of course, these legs do angle. And I'm gonna show you how we use the angle adjustment on here, which is actually really nice, really robust. Um, but there again, this does, this does get down to the smallest form factor out of all three of these tripods. And then of course you can see that the two section, this is how small it gets as well. And they do come actually with some really nice bags. I'll show you those in a second. Unlike a lot of tripods that come with some really crappy bags, these are actually usable, practical, they make sense to carry along with you. And both are about the same profile aside from height yep. for your hiking. Um, so, you know, Easy to pack either of them, yeah. depending on your application. No, and I'll put up the, again, I'll put up the actual technical specs about the minimum and maximum height of all three somewhere throughout this. Maybe right here, maybe right on his face. I don't know, we'll figure it out. We'll have it up there. All right, so the other thing I, I do wanna show you down here, folks, you know, a lot of times tripods, they will offer some sort of spiked foot, but you usually have to remove the center. You gotta use a tool or something like that. What I love about these is the fact that all you need to do is actually twist down the rubber foot. And now we're revealing that spiked foot. So you're not bringing any tools with you. It doesn't take 10 minutes to switch these out, to you know, pull a spike out, flip it over, re-thread it in. All you're doing is you know, rotating that rubber foot down there. So you know, the spike foot, perfect for gravel situations, icy situations, you know, your ex-wife's hardwood floors, whatever it is, uh, but again, if you need it, it's there and it's all in one piece. You don't have to bring extra tools. The other thing that I love about these, and folks, there was a kind of a toss up between what tripods that we were gonna carry. There was another brand, great brand. Um, I've talked to those guys, great folks over there. But one of the issues that I had was the fact that when you close their legs, their legs on those particular tripods would cross. I'm not a fan of that. And on top of that, they would cross, and then as you're walking through the woods, they would bang together. The other thing that you'll notice with these is that they have, not only do the legs not cross, but these rubber portions, the actual locks, meet up, so they're not gonna be bouncing, and if they do hit each other, it's rubberized, it's gonna be quiet. So you can get into your shooting position quietly if you're hunting, uh, or if you're on a military operation, or law enforcement operation, if you need a tripod, you need to be quiet these are about as quiet as they're gonna get. Yeah, so one of the other things that I really like is the uh, adjustability for these leg locks yeah, up so top, cool. where um, you pop it out, it stays out. When you get to the full length or full uh, extension, it locks back in and then it ratchets down to the right height that you want. Um, and I know a lot of tripods do it these days, but this thing gets down so you can go low prone, you can go high prone, uh, kneeling, standing, uh, just about any uh, position that you could think of. And I think we tested just about all of them today, yeah. especially the, with the wind. The one thing I, I like about these folks is the fact that you, you pop these out, they stay in place. A lot of these, or I'll even show you kind of how the um, bog works here in a second, which that's probably my least favorite aspect of that. Yeah, a lot of the other ones out there, they're spring loaded, so you have to actually hold it in place while you make the adjustment and then it pops right back into place. I like the fact that you can just push it out, get it to where you want, push it back into place, or if you're going back and you're removing the angle out of the leg, you know, it's gonna lock into place automatically. So really smart design. Um, again, the guys over there, Fat Boy, they knew what they were doing when they were doing that. It's a common theme, one hand operation. Yeah. It really is. Uh, just about everything point. on this tripod. So one of the things that we did notice was that the legs were a little stiff. You know, being new, I'm sure that they will also probably loosen up 
by themselves over time. But what we did, and I actually called the guys at Fat Boy to make sure that I wasn't screwing anything up here, is I loosened these hex bolts by maybe a sixteenth of a turn, and it was much looser. So it just gets into place that much quicker. So if you do need to, if you feel like they're too stiff for you, you can loosen that just ever so slightly and it'll make a world of difference as well. So It's easy to tighten back up if it gets too loose. Exactly. So the other thing that I really like is how the bowl retention is. So over here we have this tension screw and to tighten this up, all we do is rotate that down. If it's not tight enough, we can actually just, this is spring loaded, you rotate that back up and this is all aluminum. Nothing on this thing is plastic. Everything is really well made. So that's nice and tight and now the bowl will not rotate, but once I do want to loosen this up, all we do is loosen that up. Now this is rotating, but it also has a secondary retention over here. We push this knob and the entire ball comes out of the bowl. So again, super easy to use. Um, just again, real smart design. That's what, that's what I like about it. Everything about this was really well thought out. And even with this, you know, if you got it as tight as you can, it's still sticking out. All you gotta do is pull that out, rotate it out of the way, and now it's not gonna get snagged on anything. All right, so the other thing I wanna talk about is a really cool feature on this, uh, and we're gonna talk about the accessory known as the side chick over here, which is pretty ingenious as well. But another feature even outside of that is the fact that on every single one of these legs, we have a quarter 20 threaded hole. And then on the actual apex right here, we have a quarter 20 thread. And then on the ball head, we have a quarter 20 thread. All of those are mounting points. Now these are specifically designed for this device, which is the side chick. Chicks, and you can see this footage from the range where we actually had our phone with our ballistic app up. So we have a heads up display for our ballistic app. And on this side, you can put your Kestrel, you can put, you know, we had the MDT shot timer, which by the way, a review of that com is coming very soon. Uh, they're already on our website. And also, if you haven't checked already, there's links down below for these on our website. We would appreciate the business. So go check these out, whether you're just wanting any one of these tripods or the ball head itself uh, on our website, paramounttactical.com. Go check that out and buy from us. I'm sure many of you out there probably have some photography gear. So any of these quarter 20, you know, magic arms, you can already, you might already have some mounts that are quarter 20. So any of these will fit on there. And, you know, we can rig this thing out with 20 different, you know, 20 different accessories and all kinds of bling and electronics and anything you could possibly imagine. Yeah, you great could, for training. It is great. great for training. Whether you're putting a camera on there, a GoPro, so that you're watching maybe your trigger pull, maybe to see, you know, your breathing, whatever it is, along with the MDT uh, shot timer, which is gonna allow you to use your phone to video yourself, as well as being able to record all your shot time data. So pretty cool stuff. And also, again, just being able to have your Kestrel right at hand, being able to have that ballistic app looking right at you, you don't have to look around, it's keeping all your data. Everything is you know right there inside your workspace as you're shooting. All right, so I did wanna go over the particulars of the side shake, uh, just so that you know what's going on with this. Uh, because it is easy to make a very simple mistake that could possibly damage your ball head, especially if you're like me and you don't read those basic directions on the back. I'm too good for the directions. Anytime you read directions, it does drop your testosterone by 25 to 30%. So I usually avoid those, but it does come in three pieces. This is how it will come when you order it. And here's your three pieces right here. It comes with this magic arm that you have right here that tightens down, again, really well made. Everything on this is aluminum and or steel. I actually think the arms are steel, but it, nothing on this is plastic, which makes it very robust, very well made. Um, so you have two arms here. You have the long arm here, and then you have the shorter arm, and if you'll notice that on these, the threaded portion on the short arm is longer than the threaded portion on the long arm. So this is designed to where this is gonna mount onto your tripod, whatever quarter 20 hole that you plan on putting it in, whether we're talking about adding it right here to the ball head itself or into the apex or one of the leg. Uh, again, we have one quarter 20 on each of the legs. We actually have one on the apex and then one on the ball head. And we have the spacer right here. So on the longer threaded portion, the short arm, this is where we, this is designed to where we can put this spacer. And then we can thread on the attachment device. This is gonna hold your phone, Kestrel, shot time, whatever it is. But if you'll notice, this actually has two quarter 20 mounts on this as well on the back or the side. So you can mount it either one. And then you just thread that down, but you do need that spacer in there 
because if you don't have the spacer on there, these threads will protrude through the actual phone holder. And it just makes sense too, because we have a nice rubberized padded area that's gonna hold that in place as well. So we're just gonna thread this onto this portion right here. But because we do have another thread portion, if we wanted to, we could add an additional side check right there. And I've tried that. It does hold it nice and firm. This is extremely strong and robust. So once you set it and you crank that thing down, it's gonna stay in place. So pretty, again, it's just well-made. And you don't have to do this in any particular order, but again, once you do attach this, we can take this shorter piece and we can attach to the ball head with absolutely no problem. You can crank that thing down, make it nice and tight. It does have some flat sides on here so you can put a wrench on there and really get it tight if you wanted to. I do think that you need to pay attention and make sure that when you're done using your tripod that you remove this because this is sticking out of there. If we collapse it down, throw it down on the ground or whatever else, or it falls down the ground and this hits, it could damage the ball head itself uh, or at least the side chick or the threads. So make sure that you remove that. Now a st mistake that I made is that I did this in reverse, right? I put, because again, I didn't read the directions, and it's okay to do this in reverse if you want it in this configuration in most instances except for one. So right now what we have, if we are attaching the side chick to the ball head or to the tripod and we're using the longer threaded portion, you can attach it to any point on the tripod itself. But if you attach this longer threaded portion to the ball head, it's actually so long to the point that if you really crank this down, it starts affecting the ball head, right? So it's actually digging into the ball head. We don't want that. So if for some reason you do want it in this configuration where you have the short arm, it is absolutely okay to do it on any portion of the tripod. But if you do it on the ball head and suddenly, what happened was I cranked it down and suddenly this was like not moving smoothly. And I was like, wow, what's going on? And it took me a couple seconds to figure out that I had this in the wrong configuration or even the fact that both of these threaded portions are not the same size. When you look at them, you'll, you know, I just immediately thought they were the exact same size, so I didn't think it mattered, but it does matter. So just be aware of that. But this is a really handy tool, especially when you're wanting to have different accessories, everything from cameras to, you know, again, shot timers, your Kestrel, your phone, whatever it is. But I really like this accessory, and I think you will too. But I just wanted to make sure that you know how to use it properly, because you're probably like me, you're not gonna read the directions way too manually for that. And if you use this portion on the ball head, you could damage the ball head and it's just gonna cause you problems. But I wanted to share that with you so that you didn't make the same mistakes that I made. Uh, and that's what I'm here for, right? We get out, we try this gear out, we try multiple different types of gear and show you what works, what doesn't, and then also how to use it properly. So that's what I'm here for. So I make the mistakes so you don't have to. You know, I really do think Fat Boy represents the level of quality and performance that we want to associate with. So that's why we're carrying these products so that you can have the best gear. And again, we'll have other options as well, just like we'll continue to carry the bog. But you know, if you're wanting something that's going to perform a little bit better at a little bit higher price point, this is a great investment. If you're going to spend a bunch of money on a tripod, you might as well invest wisely on a tripod that's going to work, that's going to perform, that's going to last you a long time. And I think that's exactly what you get with Fat Boy. So enjoy the rest of the video. All right, folks. So the next thing we're going to show you is their newest product, Fat Boy's newest product, the Elevate 2 section. Folks, this is probably one of the most innovative tripods, the coolest thing that I have honestly ever seen, how easy this is to use. But before we get into that, if you like content like this, make sure you like, subscribe, throw a comment down below, that really helps us out. Uh, and also check out our other social media sites. The other thing that I would add, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you appreciate the Second Amendment, uh, folks, stop watching YouTube. YouTube is not a friend of the Second Amendment. They're not a friend of the First Amendment. We are slowly moving all of our stuff over to Rumble. Uh, with that being said, I want you to like, I want you to subscribe because I want to share and spread this message of this content on YouTube. That's what I need to do. I need to take the people on YouTube that appreciate the Second Amendment and get them over to a platform that isn't the enemy of our rights. So like, subscribe, all the other good stuff here. Even share this, but start watching everything on Rumble. The other thing I would tell you is on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern time, we have our Dangerous Liberty podcast. It's live. Uh, we have special guests on all the time. We talk guns, gears, politics. We have a great time. You get to interact with us. So make sure you join us on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern time right here on YouTube and Rumble. So make sure you join us for that. All right. So this is the Elevate 2 section. It's their brand new 
product. We got one of the first ones that they ever had. And I wanna show you folks, this is how we normally run a tripod, right? So what I always tell my students when we're teaching them how to use tripods is make sure that you go ahead and just extend the bottom legs first. So we go around here, we extend these bottom legs. And then all we need to do is to control the height with these you know, locks that are actually easier for us to reach, right? So now we're just doing that and we get to the height that we need, whatever it is. And you guys can kind of see how that works. And of course, if I'm gonna put this thing away, same thing, you know, I'm putting this, unlock all these, and it's not hard, right? And this, this one definitely makes it easier than most, but at the end of the day, it's a little bit time consuming. So this is the Elevate, and basically what we have is an inverted leg, and it, the features on this are pretty cool. We have one locking ring for all three legs. Go ahead and just pull that up. The legs never leave the ground, all right? And then we can just tighten these up, and it locks into place. So you have all of the versatility of a standard two section tripod, but just the way that works, we're not reaching on the ground. And you can see here's the other two section. To reach those leg locks, I gotta go all the way to the ground, right? Or pick this up and then pull them out. Well, and then look at right here. So you've gotta use your hand, pull the leg out. Yep. Here, you keep your hand on- And we can get this loose enough to where basically it does, gravity will yeah. do it, but yes. But here you keep your hand on the lock. You never, you don't have to uh, search for the lock. Keep it right there. Slide it out to the height that you want. Makes it a lot easier than uh, in instances where you do have to pull the leg out or you're reaching down further for the, uh, the locking mechanism. Here, yeah. keeps it right in your hand. Folks, it's so convenient. Just again, you got all of your controls pretty much within your workspace, right? So, you know, we're not having to go all the way to the ground to, to retract the legs or anything else. So this has all the same exact features as those, but there again, all the versatility of this kind of unique design, just the ease of use really is what it comes down to. And that thing, I don't know, I, I, really, I really like that. It makes a good tripod an uh, amazing tripod, so. And I haven't seen it on any others yet. All right, folks, another feature that I wanna make sure that we illustrate very clearly is the weight, right? So especially when you're looking at something like this Bog Death Grip that has these 35 millimeter legs compared to one of these fat boys that have these massive, 42.8 millimeter legs. I mean, the size difference on this, just the what, what it looks like. This looks like it's gonna be three times heavier than this, but I think you'll be surprised. They are a little bit heavier, there's no doubt, but I think they're more than worth the weight. But you put this bog on here with the head, we're looking at six pounds, five ounces, basically six pounds, six ounces. And then we put the Traverse three section all right, we're at seven pounds, 12 ounces. So about a pound and a half difference. And you know, I'll tell you what, I would carry this, I would carry that extra pound and a half, but because what you're getting for this extra pound and a half is a huge difference in stability, a huge difference in ease of use and, and overall just functionality, folks. It, it's, it's more than worth the pound and a half, I promise you that. Um, and then, so that is the three section traverse. Here is the two section traverse. Put that on there. We're looking at right about the same, seven pounds, 13.5 ounces. All right. And then here is the Elevate. Folks, I gotta be honest with you, I, I think this is my favorite. Just the fact that you'd never have to bend over to adjust this still boggles my mind. Just being able to leave the legs on the ground and being able to adjust them that way. And there again, when it's time to tighten everything up, you know, we're not having to bend over or do anything like that. It is. I don't know, definitely a game changer in my mind. All right, so the weight on this is seven pounds, 13 ounces. So, you know, they're all within a couple of ounces of each other, but we're still under eight pounds for this level of stability, that level of durability, and of course, you get all the features with it. So, because I can tell you right now, any pictures you see online or even this video doesn't do these things justice. When you see these things in person, how robust they look, uh, just the fit and finish, the quality, the features they have on them, and then you pick them up and you're like, I can't believe this tripod weighs what it does. It, is, it still feels super, super light. So I wanted to make sure that we, you know exactly what you are getting with the tripod and the head together. So just so you're aware of that. Folks, the last thing I wanted to make sure that we covered completely was the bags that these come with. The first thing that I did on those bogs and some of the other tripods I've ordered is throw away the cheap, crappy bags that they come with. 
because um, they're they're almost useless. So, but this is not only a, a really nice heavy duty durable bag, but I love the functionality of this as well because this zips all the way open like this. So now we have we can actually open this up and get our tripod out or put it back as opposed to how you normally have a bag like this that you're trying to you know shimmy your tripod down into. So this is an actual functional bag. I love the way it's designed. It works well and it's just a nice bag too. It's gonna protect that tripod. So when you do throw it in the back of your truck, you can throw it in this first so your nice tripod is not getting all beat up, scratched up dinged up, we can keep our stuff nicer for longer. It does come with a shoulder strap as well. Um, I'm sure I'll probably just end up taking that off, but because I almost always only use this handle portion, but to each their own, some of you guys will like that. There's also another uh, well-made strap down here at the bottom. So you got these two straps, you got on this side, you got these two hooks that will attach to the shoulder strap, but it's not just that cheap throwaway bag that you normally get with gear like this. So I thought that was important. It was a big deal to me. And for some of you, it's gonna be a big deal as well. So, all right, folks. So, you know, I'm just like you guys. I'm always looking for the best products. And, you know, I spend a lot of time on product research and spending a lot of money on different products that, you know, just trying to figure out what actually works the best so that we can make sure that we're carrying the best. And I can say with a lot of confidence, folks, out of every, out of all the tripods that I've tested out there, these are genuinely the best tripods out there they are quiet they're smart they have smart design features on them they're easy to use um, I can tell you and these are these aren't cheap basically you know at the end of the day you're spending a thousand bucks between the head and the tripod uh, but there's most of the good tripods out there are at least this expensive or more and I can tell you there's a lot of tripods that cost more than this that don't have the features they don't have the stability don't have the durability that these are going to have for you so Again, these are on our website. We'd appreciate the business. And got anything to add to that? They come in a really cool green color. They do. They come in it, any color you want, as long as the color that you want is green and carbon fiber. So, but no, the it, the finish on this is really nice. They've been anodized green. Um, yeah, man, they're just they're just slick tripods, both from a, a looks perspective as well as an actual features and functions perspective as well. So, so folks, I hope that was helpful. I hope that was informative. I'm sure I left some things out. If you have any questions left unanswered, make sure you leave those down in the comments below. Uh, and you know, while guns and gear is great, what we're really about is training. So make sure you go to ParamountTactical.com. Go check out our upcoming training schedule. We'd love to have you out. We'd love to meet you in person. Our long range courses, tactical carbine, handgun courses, med courses. And of course, do all your shopping at ParamountTactical.com. We're the only gear that we carry are items that we've personally tested and we believe in. And I want to thank you, Dustin, for coming out, helping me out on the range today, even though the, uh, we almost got blown to Oz. Hey, it was sporty, but it was a lot of fun. It was, I appreciate it was. the invite. Now, we'll, ha we'll have Dustin on here more often doing some long range stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll get him in more videos. So it'll be fun. Uh, sometimes I get lonely just talking to a camera, blinking light. So, hey, folks, we appreciate you watching. But until next time, stay armed, stay ready. We'll talk to you soon. I'm just calling, but I